Welcome to next topic in module 5 AC bridges. We have already studied about bridge circuits that is V stone bridge, Kelvin double bridge. These are all DC bridges. What is V stone bridge? It is used to find the unknown resistance by balancing the arms of the bridge circuit. So when the four prime arms are balanced, the allometer shows zero deflection. So from that you can able to find the unknown resistance. So it's the similar method we are using for AC bridges. The bridges are used for measuring the value of unknown resistance, inductance and capacitance are known as AC bridge. In DC bridge you can able to measure only the value of resistance. But in AC bridge you can measure unknown resistance, inductance and capacitance. This is the circuit of an AC bridge. Here there are four arms. Instead of R1, R2, R3 and R4 in uh, Eastern bridge, here it is Z1. Imprints is taken. Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4. I1, I2, I3, I4 is the current passing through the galvanometer or passing through these arms. When the potential between B and D, these two potential become equal. That means there is no current flow through this detector. When the potential B, VB equal to VD, no current flow through this galvanometer. That means I1, I2 will be flowing through the branch Z2 and the same current will be flowing to Z4. No current will be flowing through the galvanometer. That means I2 equal to I4 and I1 equal to I3. Then only bridge is said to be balanced. So under that condition we know that in Western bridge equation for suppose R4 is the unknown impedance R4. How will you find the balance condition? R1 R4 equal to R2 R3. Multiply opposite branches R1 R4 equal to R2 R3. Similarly in case of uh, AC bridge Z1 Z4 the opposite branches are Z1 Z4 equal to Z2 Z3 so Z1 Z4 equal to Z2 Z3 from this unknown impedance Z4 can be calculated as Z2 Z3 by Z1 and we know that since it is an impedance either RL circuit or RC circuit sometimes it may be symbol R or L or C in this branch sometimes it is RL sometimes if this may be RC or simply it is consists of only resistor so under such conditions we can represent the impedance as Z1 is Z1 angle theta 1 where theta is phase different phase angle R, R plus J omega L that is the form of RL circuit if Z1 consists of R and L if this Z1 consists of a resistance and an inductance then the equation for Z1 is Z1 equal to R plus J omega L. From this you can able to get the magnitude as well as phase angle. So Z1 can be represented as Z1 angle theta 4. Z4 is Z4 angle theta 4 equal to Z2 angle theta 2 into Z3 angle theta 3. So under balance condition Z1 is Z4 equal to Z2 is Z3. Theta 1 into theta 2 is theta 1 plus theta 2 equal to theta 2 plus theta 3. So first we can study about the Maxwell bridge. This is the AC bridge used for measuring the inductance of circuit. Maxwell's inductance bridge. So this is the previous university question. Use, using Maxwell bridge show how unknown inductance and resistance can be measured. So for this, this is the bridge circuit. So Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4. Here Z1 is replaced by R1, L1. Z2 is an RL, R2, L2, Z3 is R3, Z4 is R4. The unknown inductance L1 of resistance R1 in arm AB is compared with standard inductance L2. Here the unknown parameters to be found out is L1 and R1. So suppose here is the unknown branch. R1 and L1 are the unknown inductance to be found out. This R1, L1 is the unknown inductance. So you are going to balance this bridge. How you are going to balance the bridge? When voltage at B, that is AB equal to this point voltage equal to voltage at C. These two point voltage should be equal. Then no current flow through this galvanometer. 
that means v1 should be equal to v2 this point means v a b b potential the b potential is same as v3 v2 or v1 v1 should be equal to v2 and v3 should be equal to v4 then the galvanometer is said to be balanced v1 this is your v1 voltage this voltage and this voltage equal means no current flow through this branch or this voltage and this voltage equal means no current will be flowing through the galvanometer since no current flowing through the galvanometer means i1 is flowing through this path a b and d here i2 is flowing through a c and d then bridge is said to be balanced So we can write the equation for Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4. Z1 is R1 plus J omega L1. Z2, R2 plus J omega L2. Z3 equal to R3. Z4 equal to R4. These are the parameters. Next, what is the balancing condition? Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. You can directly substitute the value. Z1 is R1 plus J omega L1. Z4 R4, Z2 R2 plus J omega L2, Z3 is R3. Multiply R1 R4 plus J omega L1 R4 equal to R2 R3 plus J omega L2 R3. Equate the real part R1 R4 equal to R2 R3, R1 by R2 equal to R3 by R4. From this, you can able to get R1, what is R1, R2, R3 by R4. So, unknown resistance is obtained by equating the real part. Next equate the imaginary part J omega L1 R4 equal to J omega L2 R3. So from this L1 R4 equal to L2 R3. So what is L1? L2 R3 by R4. This is the unknown resistance, unknown inductance L1. So you can equate these two. R3 by R4 equal to R1 by R3, R2 equal to L1 by L2. This is the way how we are finding the unknown inductance and resistance using Maxwell bridge. Only things to remember is don't forget about the impedances in each branch. If any one of the impedances get misplaced, then your answer will be different. So, R1, Z1 is R1 L1, Z2 is R2 L2, Z3, Z4 contain only resistance. Two branches consist of resistance, two branches consist of inductance and resistance.